Yes, thank you, Madam President. Free and independent media and an independent judiciary are key foundations of any democracy. It is what we strictly demand from candidate countries before they can join the EU, and it's the absolute minimum that we should expect of our member states. Sadly, it's this absolute minimum that the Polish government consistently fails to meet. And this new draft bill, the so-called Lex TVN, is nothing more but an expression of desperation from a government that wants to have total control over its citizens. A government so desperate even it had to resort to a second illegal vote to push this law through the lower house of the parliament. And it's a sign of weakness because a government that is afraid of a free and critical press is in essence a government that is afraid of its citizens, afraid of real scrutiny by the people on the merits of its policies and achievements. And this is not just an internal Polish issue. An attack on Polish media is an attack on European media. It's an attack on our shared European values. And it's encouraging to see the protest in Poland in defense of free media, in defense of our European values, just as it's encouraging to see the Senate in Poland rejecting this draft bill, as it shows that there is still strong opposition in Polish society against the attacks on rule of law from this government. And these voices, these Polish voices on the street, also look to Europe. And we should hear that call. We fully support last week's decision to bring Poland again before the ECJ and demand penalties. And it's exactly this kind of decisive action that we need to defend the rule of law in Europe. And we want to see that same decisiveness, Commissioner Reinders, also when it comes to a proper follow-up follow -up on the implementation of the rule of law conditionality. Thank you. Thank you very much.